we will now make our blog functionality. You will create a controller action and the view independently from one another. We will modify the routes file again and we will be tracing through a series of errors so you will have a clear understanding of what you are doing. Let's get started again. Back to the routes file, here we will create what is called a resource. This is a term used for a collection of similar objects, such as the articles in our blog. Type resource, space, colon, articles. Another resource of objects could be a list of students. And here I made a typo. It should be resources, plural because it applies to a collection of articles. Go to the browser window and type slash articles after 3000. Since it's now defined in the routes, maybe we will see it, but we will get an error. Type slash new after articles. We will still get an error. It says Rails is missing an uninitialized constant articles. This tells us we need to create a controller named articles. So let's go and do that in our terminal. Type rails generate controller, the name of the controller articles. Just as we did before, but we will not give it an action. Rails now generates the files for the articles controller. Let's go back to the browser and try it again. All right. We got another error stating that Rails is now missing the action new. So let's go to our articles controller and let's define the action new by typing DEF, NEU, new, and end. Remember before in the welcome controller, it had an action named index. Let's try it again. Okay, now it says it's missing a template. Before it generated the template index.html.erb, but now since we do everything step by step, we don't have that template. Go to views, to the folders articles, and let's create a new file that we name, or must be named, new.html.erb, so it matches the new action in the articles controller. The extension ERB stands for Embedded Ruby and is needed for us to be able to use Ruby syntax and code directly in our HTML document. But let's give it a header, just say, an h1 tag, html tag, and just write hello from uh, the new template. And let's close the header tag. Okay, now let's go back to the browser and if everything is, we did everything right, it will work. And it does. It says hello from the new template. This is the new .html.erb. Okay, let's clear our terminal and let's commit everything. Let's type git status to remind us what we have done. We configured the routes and we created an articles controller and we created a um, the, the action and the template. So let's do git add and git commit dash m single quotation. Let's type what we did. Added um, the resource articles, right? In the routes file. And then we created an articles controller
and let's see if I my typing here I uh, created a new action and a new template I capitalized the new just to indicate that it's a name and not the word new and we check the errors as we went along all right let's clear the screen and let's do git status again okay again on branch master and nothing to commit all right so we are now ready to move on and we will create some forms you will now learn how to work with the Ruby syntax. We will create a form for our blog content. You will get a better understanding of routes. And we will still have some errors that we will trace. OK, let's get on with this section. Go back to the new.html.erb file. And let's change the heading. To create a form to submit our blog content, we'll use a form builder called Form4 provided by Rails. We'll provide it with uh, the object articles so the form knows what to look for. To embed Ruby code, we type a less than sign, percentage sign, and an equal sign. Type form underscore four colon article for the object. Type do a pipe sign, the letter F, and a pipe sign. And we close the Ruby code by typing a percentage sign and a greater than sign. The letter F represents the form builder and is used to build two labels and two text fields. Let's put in a paragraph tag. And here we're going to create our label by typing F.label and colon text. Oh, colon title, because this is our title. And then type f dot text field, so text underscore field, colon title. And close the Ruby syntax. Let's do another paragraph tag. And let's create a text area for our article. Give it the label of text, f.label again. Colon text. And for text area this time, since we have a little bit more for text input, colon text, percentage sign, and close it with a greater than bracket. We also need a submit button. That can accomplish by typing uh, within, still within their Ruby code less than sign, percentage, equal sign, f dot submit. And close the Ruby code. Since this is a do loop, we also need an end to it. So again, uh, great less than sign, percentage sign, and we type end. Note that I don't have an equal sign here. We'll use the equal sign only for the content we want to be outputted to the screen. Go to your browser window and refresh it. Here we now see the form we just built. Let's try to submit and post some text. So just input whatever text you want to. We will still get an error and this will be a routing error. So now we will inspect our routes. Hit submit. It says no route matches post slash article slash new. Let's go back to the terminal and in the terminal type rake routes. This would list all our routing options. 
pay attention to the titles in each column that are displayed. We have a prefix, verb, URI pattern, and a controller action. We want the post verb. This tells us that we need it in the controller articles, we need to make a create action. So let's go and do that in the actions controller. As before, type def, create, end. But inside here, we need some more things. Type render. Type plain. We're just going to render some very plain text. And type params, stands for parameters square brackets, and inside here, type colon article. Type dot inspect. This will display plain text to the browser. Inside the params, or the parameters of the articles, uh, is actually, or are actually, the title and the text. Okay, let's go back, and oh, we need one more thing, okay? We need to show the, f the output where to go, which is the show page. So type URL colon articles underscore path. All right. Okay, let's try and submit something again. So just I type the new blog, and then I'm just typing one sen simple little sentence and I hit submit and hopefully everything has gone well. There we go. Okay. So this is just what's been rendered by the inspect. However, it does give the title and it also shows the text of the form input. Okay. Let's clear the screen and let's do git commit what we just done. So git status and git add dot git commit dash m single quote. So let's just write what we did. We added um, the routes for um, for the form, right? And we outputted it to the browser window via submit, no, via inspect. All right, so we're done for this time and we will move on and next time we will create models and work on uh, the database. Okay.